guys for tuning to my channel today. So first off, I wanted to say welcome and thank you for all my new and previous subscribers. Thanks for all the love you guys have been giving me. I really appreciate it and it just makes coming on YouTube even more fun. Um, so today I did a Comfy Cottage Inn kind of look, hot cocoa um, with a little bit of twist. And um, I really, I just love winter. I love being cozy. I wanted to do something inspired all around the new holiday collection bright and perky lip gloss I'm actually really loving this surprisingly so um, it's gold oranges um, bronzy kind of warm vibes so that's what I did today um, if you guys want to see how I did this look stay tuned for pictures and rate comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the video I already primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion Next, I will be going in with NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk. I will be applying this on my lid halfway and also in the inner corner of my eye. By taking my ring finger, I'm going to pat and pull the color all over the lid and also in the inner corner and under the eye. I'm now going in with Urban Decay's Yayo Eyeshadow. This matte white is a great alternative to Gesso by MAC. I'm taking my SS239 brush and applying this all over the lid, the inner corner, and going under the eye. I'm now taking MAC's Shade Stick in Relaxed. As you can see, it's a beautiful bronzy brown. I'm going to be applying this on the outer corner of my eye, focusing it in the outer V and going into the crease. I'm going to be taking this color and applying it to my pointer finger. While I do this, I'm going to be pulling and adding the color to the outer corner and blending it in with the white NYX Milk Pencil. I'm now going in with a MAC 217 brush and MAC's eyeshadow in soft brown. I'm applying this where the brown and the white end. This is also going to help later on when I go to blend out the darker browns. I'm now going in with my Sephora blending brush and a, the color brulee by MAC applying this to my brow bone and blending out any harsh lines that I've already formed and creating a nice base for my brow area. I'm now going in into my Stars Makeup Haven palette and using the brown cocoa, using a fluffy blender brush from Target, I'm going to apply the cocoa onto the outer corner of my eye, focusing on the crease and starting to form my shape. I am lightly adding color to the brush slowly so I'm not getting too much on my lid and having to blend it all out. I'm now going in with a MAC 242 brush in the color Cocoa again. Focusing the color on the tip of the brush, I'm going to be using this as a liner thickly lining under the eye halfway and starting to form a cat eye. I'm taking the same brush and color and I'm going to start filling out the crease and pulling the color into the inner corner. Tipping your head back helps the application for forming that line in the inner corner.
I'm going back with my MAC 217 and the color Soft Brown once again. I'm going to be tapping this color right on the outer corner and using this brush and color to start blending out the cocoa. I'm taking a pencil brush and back to the color Yayo by Urban Decay. I'm going to be applying this in the inner corner once again, helping to form and reshape the brown line I just had made. Also taking the color and starting to blend out where Coco and Yayo meet. I'm now going in with Medusa Makeup Eyeliner Sealer. I'm going to place one drop on the back of my hand. And with that, I'm going to use a MAC 226 Angled Eyeliner Brush. Once applied, I'm going to go back into my Coco Eyeshadow. and start forming my eyeliner under the eye. This is also going to help create a darker look under the eye which is what I'm going for. I'm now going back with Medusa's eyeliner seal and the MAC 226 and using the Coco as a liner on the top lid. I'm using this as a liner instead of a regular brown because I want the focus to be on the under eye thick line instead of the top lid. I'm now going to connect the two lines and soften out the line with just the eyeshadow. I'm using Medusa's eyeliner seal again in a Sigma angled liner brush. Going in with Bee's Knees by Stars Makeup Haven. I'm going to be placing this on the outer corner of my eye accentuating the cat eye I had already formed. A great alternative if you don't have this color is Max Nylon Eyeshadow. Gonna go back in with my Mac 226 brush and Coco Eyeshadow. And we're going to start forming another line outside where we placed the bee's knees. I'm going in with Urban Decay's Whiskey Liner and I'm going to line halfway in my waterline. I'm going in with my Maybelline Brow Pencil in Blonde and my Brow Grooming Wand. I'm going to groom my eyebrows and draw in my eyebrows like I normally do every day. Going in with Hula by Benefit, I'm going to be contouring my cheeks and contouring the rest of my face. Now going in with Benefits Coralista, I'm going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks and blend it out where I applied Hula and to the temples. I'm going in with Maybelline's Lip Pencil in Clear. 
I'm going to line my lips where my natural line ends and fill them in. Going in with Revlon's number 009 Fabulous Fig from the MAC collection, I'm going to use this lipstick and line my natural lip line. By doing this, I'm going to create a beautiful natural 1940s inspired matte lip. I'm using Max Bright and Perky and applying this to the lips. This step is optional. Thank you for tuning into my channel and see you guys later. Mwah!